Connell, founder of Boston Making a Difference. Welcome to another edition of BMAD Spotlight. Tonight we have with us Jim Spencer, who is a world-renowned expert on glutathione. Glutathione is a tiny little molecule in our cells, but a giant when it comes to strengthening and building our immune systems. Jim is a platinum consultant with Immunotech, an industry leader in immunology. Welcome to the show, Jim. Thank you for being here. Hello, Mike. Thanks for inviting me on tonight. Great to have you here, Jim. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? All right. Well, um, I originally was a professional photographer. And uh, some years ago, about 22 years ago, one of my clients approached me and asked me to do an advertising campaign for a product that was being uh, brought into the United States from Canada. And it turned out it was a natural product that could enhance glutathione. Uh, the name of the product was Immunical. And in the course of doing the work and the research on it, I became fascinated with it, and it wound up uh, shifting me into a whole different field. So I've been working with that for uh, almost 22 years. Jim, glutathione has become a buzzword for a lot of people, but uh, I think even more people don't know what glutathione is. So why don't you give us, you know, the layman's uh, treatise on uh, glutathione? Okay. Well, you're right. Most people have never heard of it. And uh, it seems amazing to me, the more I travel and the more I lecture, I find very few people that have heard anything about glutathione. Uh, when I first started learning it, uh, I was uh, taught by Dr. Gustavo Bunos. He's a, uh, a leading medical uh, and scientific researcher that was uh, originally working at McGill University in Montreal. And uh, he uncovered a, a, a natural, rare protein that had the ability to bring up glutathione and in humans. And it was a fascinating story. Uh, I won't go into a lot of detail about it, but, but when I came back from that first trip to Montreal, uh, it, it, it made such an indelible impression on me that I began to research it. At, back in those days, uh, you couldn't find any, anything on it anywhere, uh, but today, there's over 150,000 published papers on glutathione. So now uh, you, you, can, you can read it for weeks, months, years, never run out of, uh, out of research material. Uh, but anyway, to uh, simplify what it is, uh, it's a, a tripeptide protein, very tiny molecule that's manufactured inside of each cell. It's made up of three amino acids. You need glycine, uh, glutamate, and cysteine. But the cysteine, that's the hardest amino acid to get today in our diets. And uh, that uh, protein that Dr. Bunos discovered uh, is now in the product called Immunical. And it's a, a unique form of cysteine. It doesn't break down in the stomach. Uh, it stays intact, goes through the intestines and through the walls of the intestine, it goes into the bloodstream, circulates through 25,000 miles of arteries, and any cell that needs to make more glutathione simply brings those uh, thiols right through the plasma membrane of the cell and it upregulates or manufactures glutathione. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the benefits of glutathione. First of all, it's the most powerful antioxidant that's ever been discovered in your body. And as such, it's an incredible protection for, for you at the cellular level. Uh, I remember five main things on glutathione by an acronym, an idea. The AN stands for antioxidant, the I stands for immune booster, the D stands for detoxifier, the E stands for energy, and the A stands for anti-aging. And it's uh, pretty hard to find one single thing that does all five of those things, but uh, I was very fortunate to stumble onto it. Now, the immune system is uh, something critical today. I mean, we, we are under attack by all types of viruses and bacterial infections, um, even parasites and funguses. But your immune system has the ability to fight these things if you give it the right food or the right fuel. And glutathione is the right fuel. If you upregulate glutathione, your body can then make the T cells, CD4, CD8s, and they're so critical for fighting these type of serious infections. Um, 
amazing, amazing ability of glutathione is that it'll keep your immune system at maximum peak. And that's what you need nowadays. So that's the, uh, the letter I. The letter D is detoxify. And the detoxifying uh, aspect of glutathione is that it works with an enzyme called conjugase and it liquefies all of the harmful things that we're exposed to, or at least most of them. Uh, we're breathing in reactive oxygen species. We're, we're drinking water that has toxins in it. We're eating food that has carcinogens. And the ability of glutathione is that it can help liquefy these harmful things, even, even heavy metals like mercury. And, it, and your body then gets rid of it and uh, you are much healthier. Now the liver is the highest uh, organ or the organ that has the highest amount of glutathione, up to 62% of all the glutathione in, in your body is in the liver. So uh, we notice that people that uh, abuse the liver by drinking heavily or smoking, they have lower levels of glutathione. And that leads to these complications of fatty liver and cirrhosis of the liver. So very important. Glutathione is very important for, for the liver and for detoxifying. The letter E stands for energy. And the uh, mitochondria really needs to, the support of glutathione. It prevents uh, the attack of oxyradicals by neutralizing oxyradicals right inside the cells. And so you're... Your battery, which is your mitochondria, starts to pick up energy. And that's the first thing people know on when they're using glutathione, uh, up, up regulating glutathione. They have more energy. They, they feel better. They have a better sense of well being. And then finally, uh, the last day of an idea is anti aging. And it's been found that uh, no matter who, where you test the blood, Anywhere in the world, we could test uh, in Italy or in the United States or Germany. Anyone over the age of 95 has very high levels of glutathione. And everyone else is dead. So it's a prerequisite for people to hit these very high ages. And that's because it's such an anti-aging molecule. So in essence, um, if you can think of an idea, you can share that with your friends. And that's a very important aspect of glutathione. Jim, uh, you know, there is some confusion out there with glutathione. People go to a store and they buy over-the-counter glutathione. Could you tell us a little bit about that? You know, the, the fact that you need precursors rather than, you know, eating glutathione? Sure. Uh, and I've had doctors uh, that I've lectured to come up afterwards and show me a jar of glutathione. Uh, very expensive, and it's practically worthless. Uh, there's real no, not really studies that show that eating glutathione does anything for lip, elevating glutathione levels. It's pretty much destroyed in the stomach, and passed as waste. So, uh, immunical is a precursor. It's it's a food. It, it's a building block. So when you mix it, uh, it's a powder. You mix it with a water or juice. You drink it, and it goes down to, into the stomach and, and doesn't break down, gets into the bloodstream, and that's how your, your cells are able to make it. Now, there is a uh, injectable form of glutathione. Uh, when they inject it, it does bypass the stomach. However, because the molecule is so large, it doesn't really uh, build intracellular glutathione. It only raises extracellular glutathione. So it has limited benefits. It has a short half-life, so it's only good for a few hours in the bloodstream, and then it breaks down. So um, it also has trouble passing the blood-brain barrier. Uh, there is some synthetic forms of cystine that uh, have come to uh, be manufactured. One of them is called anacetylcystine. The other one is OTC. The other one is OTZ. Uh, some of these uh, products do have side effects. They're, they're not easy to get. Uh, and long-term usage of them is questionable. Uh, you want something that you can take every day. Uh, N-acetylcysteine, for instance, uh, again, has a short half-life. Uh, only 9% of it gets through the digestive tract, uh, as opposed to 100% with immunocal. And when it does get into the bloodstream, it's going to break down in a few hours. It will raise glutathione, but uh, it's not something I'd recommend that you do on a daily basis. Uh, it's used as a drug, 
uh, in very high doses for people that have overdosed on certain drugs. For instance, if someone comes in with an overdose of Tylenol, acetaminophen, uh, they are put on very high doses of n acetylcysteine, uh, which then transports to the liver, upregulates glutathione, and, and detoxifies the Tylenol. Again, under emergency conditions, not a problem, but not something I would suggest that you do uh, for long periods of time. So really, you want a natural protein that has the ability to, on a daily basis, keep your levels there. And that way you're gonna be safely, effectively making glutathione every day, and it'll have a huge impact on your health. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, you know, what distinguishes Immunical from other precursors, uh, you know, the, maybe the fact that it's in the PDR? Well, that is one of the especially uh, interesting benefits of using glutathione. It's been specially prepared to be a glutathione precursor. In fact, it's written right on the box. Now, there's proteins that claim to be uh, undenatured proteins. Uh, an undenatured protein is, has never been heated uh, beyond a certain point where it destroys the amino acids, particularly the heat sensitive amino acids like cystine. So in essence, the um, immunical is specially prepared. It's extracted from, from milk, but the milk is left behind. So there's no lactose in it, there's no casein in it. Uh, many of these uh, proteins, whey protein isolates, uh, claim to be undenatured, but you know, they, they aren't. They, they uh, are made with uh, vanilla and chocolate and strawberry. And if you scoop some of that, uh, they come in these big tubs uh, and you pour it in a glass of water, it'll stir right in. It's hydrolyzed. So it's not undenatured. Uh, Immunical is in a sealed pouch that keeps it even from the air getting it because air will denature. Uh, these, these tubs will denature, even if they were undenatured, they wouldn't be undenatured. But anyway, if you tear open a pouch of immunogal and pour it in a glass of water, it floats. That's an undenatured protein. And it is specifically made to help you optimize glutathione. And that's the big difference between it and all the other products. Tell us uh, a little bit about, you know, being in the physician's desk reference. What does that mean? Well, that's another good point. Um, initially, the... Uh, Research was done uh, at McGill University and at some very prestigious uh, uh, scientific sources, and it uh, received a world claim. Uh, the papers were published in peer reviewed journals, and subsequently, um, it was given drug patents. And interestingly, uh, there's five uh, just in the United States, uh, and these patents really could allow uh, the company to release it as a drug, but uh, the cost would, uh, would go up quite significantly if it was a drug. And so to make sure that it was available at a, at a good price, um, it was released as a, a natural product. It's considered a nutraceutical, not a pharmaceutical, although it's really made with, with a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical precision. Now, interestingly, uh, the uh, United States uh, physician's desk reference, the PDR, uh, for the very first time permitted a natural product into its catalog. So it's listed in the drug catalog. And uh, so it could be prescribed by a doctor and you could basically uh, write it off your taxes as a medical health care expense. And the CPS, which is the Canadian version of the uh, PDR, uh, has the same information. And it's uh, well documented and it, it gives physicians a comfort level. So if you are using it, you want to tell your doctor you're using it, you could say it's in the PDR, you can look it up. Excellent, excellent. Now, Jim, uh, last question for you. One being, people will say, okay, if it's something that's created in my body, why do I need to take something to have more? Don't, aren't I just making it myself anyways? That's a good question, Mike. Uh, particularly people that have a, a sense of wellness already, they feel healthy. Uh, although it's getting harder and harder to find people that are really healthy these days. Um, the uh, solar radiation lowers glutathione. 
uh, ha certain household drugs, lower glutathione. If you live in a big city where there's pollution, it'll lower glutathione. If you have extra stress in your life, it can lower glutathione. Um, if you break a bone, if you injure yourself, if you burn yourself, it can lower glutathione levels. In fact, uh, by the time you hit your late 30s, early 40s, the aging process begins to lower glutathione. So really, it's, it's important to, to uh, regularly take the precursors so that your body has the ability, when it needs it, to upregulate the glutathione. If you don't use the protein, it just stays in the, uh, as a thiol in your bloodstream for, for days. Uh, and worst case scenario, your body uses it like ham and eggs. It's a protein. But if you don't have it, that's the problem. And we're finding in some of the clinical tests that were done that the average people that were, were using a couple of, of pouches of Immunical had uh, a 30 to 35% increase in glutathione in three months. So it's, it's really, and, and these are young people uh, in college uh, in their 20s. So if, if a young person had that kind of, a, of an uptick, us old timers uh, really benefit from it. Well, you know, being 29, I guess I've got like 11 years before I hit that 40 age. So, well, I guess not. But anyways, Jim, it was really great of you to come on with us today. I really do appreciate it. If somebody wants to get a hold of you, if that's okay with you, uh, what's your contact information? Well, my email is uh, immune, the word immune, my initials, js, at gmail.com. Excellent, excellent. Well, Jim, you know, I know you're a busy guy. You're a lot of demands. Thank you for what you do. And, uh, Everybody out there, it's another edition of uh, Boston Making a Difference BMAD Spotlight. If you have any questions about glutathione or Immunical, you can contact me. It's Mike Connell, 978-935-0373, or my email is michael at kcvisualsunlimited.com, as you see right there on the screen. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on another edition of BMAD Spotlight. Jim, take care. Thank you, Michael. Bye-bye.